I will now call to order the Development Agency Budget Committee. Will the members of the committee please introduce themselves first, starting with Dave Queener. Good morning, Dave Queener, Program Supervisor for the Clackamas County Development Agency. Fred, you're next. Uh, Fred Charlton, Citizen Budget Committee Member. Blaine Scalvivi, Citizen Budget Committee Member. And I'm Ed Kronke, Retired Businessman. Thank you very much. I will now open the floor for nominations for chair. I nominate Ed Kronke as chair. I second the nomination. Blaine uh, Scowhead has nominated Ed Gronke for chair and it has been seconded by Fred Charlton. Any other nominations? Uh, seeing none, Tony, please call the poll. <clears throat> Blaine Scowhead? Aye. Commissioner West? Aye. Fred Charlton? Aye. Commissioner Schull? Aye. Ed Gronke? Aye. Commissioner Schrader? Aye. Chair Smith? Aye. Motion passes 7-0. Please take note, there are seven members present in this meeting. Uh, the vote has resulted in Gronke has been elected chair. Mr. Gronke, I turn the meeting over to you. Thank you, Madam Chair. I'll now open the floor for nominations for secretary. I name, uh, nominate Blaine Scowhede as secretary. I'll second that. Blaine Scowhede has been nominated. Are there any other nominations? Hearing none, nominations are closed. Mr. Clerk, would you please call the roll? Ed Gronke, apologies, I will begin with Fred Charlton. Aye. Commissioner Scholl. Aye. Blaine Scowhede. Aye. Aye. Commissioner West. Aye. Commissioner Schrader. Aye. Chair Smith. Aye. Chair Gronke. The vote is um, seven seven zero. The nomination is confirmed. I'll now ask David Queener, the Development Agency Program Supervisor, to prevent the, to present the budget message. Thank you, Ed. Again, Dave Queener, um, Program Supervisor uh, for the Development Agency. Happy to be here today to present our budget to you um, for consideration. Uh, just to let you know, the budget or the, the development agency is responsible for implementing three urban renewal plans throughout the county. Um, so we will have um, some discussion today about all three of those urban renewal areas and the, and the budget encompassed um, for those. So uh, with those three urban renewal areas, we have the North Clackamas revitalization area. Um, some of our major accomplishments in that uh, district. Uh, we recently issued a $10 million bond um, for that area uh, to help accelerate some construction projects. We actually have five um, capital projects that are in various uh, phases of design and construction right now. And we also in that area do have programs available for uh, homeowners and renters out there to, to uh, assist in home repairs and critical repairs for their for the homes out in that area. Clackamas Town Center area, we uh, recently completed the Regional Center Mobility Project, which is a significant improvement to the Sunnyside area around the town center. Um, that was approximately $33 million project, so that, that expended uh, a large portion of the remaining funds in that district. In the Clackamas Industrial area, we remain um, uh, vigilant out there for available properties that are um, potentially within the new um, the planned Sunrise Corridor alignment. So we continue to um, seek 
property acquisition on a willing buyer, willing seller basis out in that area. A majority of our expenses are always um, geared towards capital related um, improvements. Um, so this year our performance measure that we are focused on is in the NCRA area. That's where a majority of our um, capital projects are and we always seek to expend a minimum of 85% on those capital related projects within our budget. Our total budget is $44.13 million. That encompasses four different funds that I will now discuss here in a minute. We have zero um, general funds allocated to our department. It's 100% um, restricted funds, and we um, continue to strive with the BCC priority of, of building a strong infrastructure throughout the county in, in these urban renal areas. For the revenues, we um, are only collecting revenues in the form of, of taxes in one district, and that's in the North Clackamas revitalization area. The others are, uh, we are using um, existing funds that we have in our, in our accounts to, to do projects. Uh, the only other revenue that we essentially have coming in is through either property sales or um, through uh, interest and also rents on some of the properties that we do currently hold. On the expense side, um, a majority of our expenditures are for those capital improvements. Uh, we do also have um, funds set aside in contingency as well for future um, use on other projects. And then as you see that the interfund transfer, that is transferring from our debt service fund into uh, our capital fund in the NCRA area. This uh, summary here is for that debt service fund. Um, this is in the NCRA, um, our beginning fund balance of $15.8 million. Uh, we're forecasting about $4.7 million in tax revenue coming into that district um, for this coming fiscal year. And as you see there, the transfer of $12 million going out and that going into our, our um, operating fund for the projects. And, also leaving about $6.8 million in contingency for those future um, projects. The town center district, as I mentioned, we're pretty much have, have expended the remaining funds out there. We do have about $2 million in our budget of revenue coming in. That is through one property sale that we anticipate and then also about $1.2 million coming back from the fire district of un unspent funds that we had previously allocated to them um, that, that'll be coming back to us. And we are gonna hold those hopefully um, to be able to commingle some funds to get uh, the second phase of the, the regional center project finished, which is a project to 82nd and, and Sunnybrook and Sunnyside. Our uh, Clackamas industrial area, again, as I'd mentioned, we are out um, go going to be looking for properties uh, that we can acquire in the proposed uh, Sunrise Corridor alignment. Um, we also have a potential project at the 212-224 interchange, or intersection, I should say, um, that we have budgeted about a million dollars for that project if it was to advance further this year. Uh, the special payments that you see there of $1.2 million, that is, um, anticipated to go to the fire district. Um, we are currently amending this plan to allow us to, to provide funding for improvements to their uh, training facility out at 135th um, in this area. And the final fund is our North Clackamas uh, revitalization area fund. And this is where we um, expend our, our capital um, expenditures out for our projects. We have a significant amount of work going on out there this year. We have one project under construction now. Another one will be um, starting construction here in, in January of 2024. Um, we also have several other smaller projects that we're, we're working on through, throughout that district. Uh, we have about $1.4 million in contingency in this fund. So in summary, um, we have the $44.136 um, million. Um, a majority of that, again, is in our, our North Clackamas revitalization area. That is the end of my presentation. I'd be happy to answer any questions you may have. Thank you, Dave. Do any members of the 
committee or the commission have any questions? Chair Gronke, I have a question. Commissioner Schull. Commissioner Schull. Uh, Commissioner Schull. Yes, thank you, Chair. <clears throat> Mr. Queener, you mentioned uh, when you're talking about the, the, the uh, industrial area, Clackamas industrial area, you mentioned about the Sunrise Corridor and uh, potential purchase of properties along the alignment. But it's my understanding, our contract with Jacobs Engineering, uh, that between now and the end of next year, uh, they are tasked with coming up with three concepts for the, the track of the sunrise between 122nd and 172nd. And once that's done, they have to, working with us and the community, select one and then do 10% engineering on that section of the sunrise. So wouldn't it be the responsibility of ODOT to be concerned about uh, appropriating properties along the selected track and not the Clackamas Development Agency? Um, yes, I mean, we would not move forward with anything um, out there. I mean, it, it's a, a partnership with ODOT as well, um, since it is within the county and within our urban rural area out there. Um, the extension of that Sunrise Corridor certainly um, meets the goals of that plan. Um, so, so anytime that we have an ability to kind of help partner and, and, and get those properties acquired for, for an alignment like that, it would be um, prudent for us. And, and certainly, the, the, you know, as property values don't go down, the sooner that we can acquire those, the more cost effective it is as well to, to get those properties held for that alignment. But we wouldn't move forward until we were specific. Gotcha. It was okay. specifically known what that alignment yeah. looks like. Okay, good. Thank you. Yes. Chair Smith. Thank you very much. Of the three uh, areas in this urban renewal district, are you still collecting funds? The only one we're collecting funds through through property tax um, revenue is the North Clackamas revitalization area. When does that expire? We project that district to probably 2035, roughly. We are we have a maximum amount of revenue that we can collect, and that's projected to be where, where that would terminate. How much is collected a year on that? It's about, right now, at about $4.7 million is what we're projecting for this coming fiscal year. And the other two areas, Clackamas Town Center and Clackamas Industrial Area, those urban renewal districts have uh, expired on collecting taxes. Correct? Yes, those, those levies have, have been terminated. Uh, I believe the industrial area is in 2006, and I think the town center was in 2009 is when those levies were terminated. And when will all those monies be spent, and will those districts close then once those monies are spent? The answer is yes, for sure those will close. As soon as all, all of those funds are expended, we don't have a lot of remaining funds, so as soon as those monies are spent, those, those districts will, will terminate and no longer exist. Okay. Getting back to the North Clackamas revitalization area, $4.7 million per year, you have identified capital projects up until 2035, is that correct? We have. We have a plan um, of capital projects that we implement um, th throughout. And, and we have to only, we only can implement plans that are, are projects that are identified within the Clackamas, mm -hmm. the North Clackamas Revitalization Area Plan. Mm -hmm. So that, that is very specific on what projects can be implemented and, and can be done. So that, that is kind of our book that we follow to make sure that we're, we're staying within the planned objectives. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Dave. You bet. Commissioner Schreider. Yeah, thanks, Dave. If I recall, the North Clackamas Revitalization Area, um, we pulled that together specifically because we ha were having failing roads there. Uh, it was all septic systems. It was not sewered. Uh, they didn't. They didn't have a, a storm water, so on and so forth. So, it really was an area. Uh, that I recall, uh, really, we were trying to uh, stop blight and really improve the neighborhood. Is that how you remember it, too, after all these yes, years? Yes, yeah. yes. And, that's, and, and when we implement projects out there, that is our, our we always have that in mind when we're doing projects. We're not trying to um, change um, yeah. in a negative way out there. We're trying to get the, the people that live there 
to and from services. Um, and so when we design a roadway, we're thinking about not, not changing the character so much that it it's, um, becomes more of a headache and a problem out there. We're tr yeah. trying to really focus on, on the people that live there and how we can make it, make it better for their living. Yeah, because if I recall, it was one of our key areas that we were uh, pocket, pockets of poverty um, and had issues. And I remember specifically having discussions with the policies at the time that we wanted no displacement. We did not want gentrification. What our goal was was to really just revitalize the neighborhood as is. And I've always felt that it is a uh, an example of uh, urban renewal done correctly, and it's really improved that whole neighborhood. I would so. agree. Thank you. Are there any other questions? There we go. Commissioner West. <clears throat> Thank you, Chair Grunke. Um, I I want to. Uh, I, I, it's been a it's been an early theme this morning about um, our special districts really overperforming. Um, and, and so you guys are this 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 same district is is doing some good stuff. Urban renewal um, is often used, not often, but sometimes used by elected officials for <coughs> to fund big pipe dreams at the expense of other tax districts. Yeah. Um, but Clackamas County um, and other jurisdictions have also shown how it can be a tool that can help revitalize areas that maybe have be no other, no other way to be re revitalized or have blight. And so um, I, I really do want to kind of um, piggyback on Commissioner Schrader's comments about this specific district and how we have been very judicious and careful and cautious in how we use this tool in urban rural, realizing how it impacts our neighbors um, and, and, and their revenues also for an extended period of time. So um, thank you again for the work you guys are doing. And um, it looks like uh, we are now three for three in well run, well operated, and good government in special districts. So that's exciting to see. Are there any other questions? I'll now open the public hearing. Uh, I will begin with those present in person. Uh, when those re then those registered on Zoom. So if anyone is here to testify in person, I don't have any cards. Does anyone have any cards? If not, then we will go to the, anyone registered on Zoom, on Zoom, and I believe Tony will moderate that. Yes, Mr. Chair, if you would like to testify on the development agency budget, please use the raise hand feature and I will call on you in the order received. Mr. Chair, I do not have any hands raised. Thank you. We don't have any further public testimony. Uh, seeing no one who wishes to speak, I'll now close the public hearing. Uh, are there any members of the committee have any further questions or discussion? Hearing no further questions, I'll entertain a motion on the budget. I move that the Development Agency Budget Committee approve the fiscal year 23-24 budget in the amount of $44,136,799 with appropriations of $44,136,799 as presented. I second. It's been moved and seconded that the Development Agency Budget Committee approve the budget for the 23 2023-2024 fiscal year, the amount of $44,136,799 as presented. Is there any further discussion? If not, will the clerk call the roll, please? Commissioner Schrader. Aye. Fred Charlton. Commissioner Schull? Aye. Blaine Scowhidi? Aye. 
Commissioner West. Aye. Chair Smith. Aye. Chair Gronke. Aye. Chair, the results is 7-0. The vote is seven to nothing. The motion passes. Is there any further business to come before the committee? If not, we are stand adjourned. Thank you.